it's certified postpartum fitness coach Jenna Dalton and in this video we are going to do a fun core workout and it's going to give you a little bit of feedback in terms of how good your form is because what I want you to do is I want you to grab something like a yoga block or a small pillow or even a book that you can balance on your back for this workout. That's gonna give you an indication if your hips are level and make sure that you have correct form throughout the entire workout. We are gonna be on our hands and knees, so let's warm up our wrists a little bit because I always like to do a wrist warm up before I go on my hands and knees to help make sure that I don't get any wrist pain. So let's start by facing your fingertips towards you there and then just put a little bit of pressure into your hands there not so much that you're feeling any kind of pain but you just want to kind of open up into your wrists into the forearms there and you can kind of go side to side if that feels good then what we're going to do is now we're going to stick our hands out in front of us let's all face the side in there so you can see. We're gonna stick our hands out in front of us, face our hands up towards the sky with nice straight arms, make a fist and down the fist goes, back up to the sky and then down. And we'll just keep doing a couple of these guys, keeping those arms nice and straight, the shoulders set down so you're not getting the shoulders scrunched by the ears there. Setting those shoulders down. Give me two more of these guys. Last one. Last one we're gonna do is we're just gonna act like we're turning a doorknob with our fingers there. Just get some turning through the wrist there. You're probably gonna start to feel your wrists literally get warm. <laughs> That's what we want to have happen so that they feel ready to work. Last one. Fantastic. Shake them on a little bit. Now what I want you to do is I want you to grab, whether you have your pillow, your yoga block, your book, whatever you have, I want you to come onto all fours and place that yoga block or whatever you're using on the small of your back, just above your bum there. And you're going to want to make sure that your knees are underneath your hips, your hands are underneath your shoulders, your fingertips are spread and you're pushing into your fingertips so that this can really help make sure that you don't get wrist pain is if you push through your fingertips not just into the base of your palm there squeeze your armpit arm into your armpit a little bit get some serratus activity there that's a muscle that wraps around our rib cage and what we're going to do first is trying to make sure that that block doesn't fall off we're gonna extend one foot out and then the other. And just keep going, keeping those hips nice and level. And if your block or whatever you're using falls off, no worries. That's just giving you some feedback <laughs> that you're moving your hips a little bit too much and that you want to maybe go a little bit slower, move with a bit more intention Give me two more, last one, excellent. Good, if you need to take a break, you can come up, come up off your wrists, give them a shake a little bit. If you're good to go, now we're gonna start with the hands. So putting one arm out and then the other. While we're doing this, we're making sure that we're getting some good core engagement so we're not just letting the belly go, letting the belly droop. We're also making sure that we are having a nice neutral spine. That's super, super important as well, that we're not getting an aggressive arch or an aggressive droop in our back. Good, give me two more. Last one and two. Excellent. Now we're gonna put it all together. So we're gonna move our arm and our leg at the same time opposite arm and leg out and then back in out and then back in trying to make sure that that doesn't roll off of your back there 
It's gonna wobble around a little bit, but make sure that it doesn't fall completely off there. And keep breathing, keep relaxing those shoulders, squeezing that arm into that armpit there, getting some good core engagement. Good. Doing awesome. Give me two more, ready? Last one and two. Now we're gonna just hold. We're gonna hold one arm and one leg out for about 30 seconds there. Trying to maintain that nice stability, pushing through the fingertips in the hand, squeezing that arm into that armpit, trying to make sure that you're not leaning more towards one side, looking down at the floor. Give me five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna switch other side. Holding out that arm and that leg there. Making sure that you're looking down at the mat so you're not looking up ahead unless you hear your baby and you're wondering what's going on. And then when you check in, you look back down. Good, breathing, relaxing your shoulders, trying to maintain nice level hips. Give me five more seconds, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. You can take that block or whatever you're using off your back, give your wrists a shake, you can go through that another two, three, four rounds if you want. The feedback that you're gonna get from the block is gonna help make sure that you're keeping those hips level. It's gonna really give you a really good indication of how good your form is. And as I said, don't worry if it falls off, that's just giving you some feedback, right? If you liked this video, please like it, subscribe to get more great workout videos like this, and make sure to head to Jenna Dalton dot com forward slash free to get a free workout video made for moms.